Welcome, foolish mortals. Yeah! <laughs> Hey guys, so Lauren here, back again with day two of the 13 days of Halloween. And today we're taking a look at the Hasbro, you heard me right, Dual Masters Fear Fang figure. And I'll be honest, I don't know crap about Dual Masters other than it's one of many Yu-Gi-Oh ripoffs. But with that said, we got some pretty cool toys out of it. Some are kind of pricey. We'll talk about that. Uh, but this is Fear Fang, and I got him off eBay a couple of years ago for about 20 bucks carded. Uh, not sure what he fetches nowadays. No pun intended. Okay, maybe a little bit. But um, I don't really care because I don't need another one. I got this one right here. And uh, let's take a closer look at him, shall we? Give me a second to focus this thing. Got my fumbly skeleton hands gone it's not as easy to do these as it was before thank you psycho murderer from the horror movies video Ugh. Um, here comes the little club smack you over the head with it i don't know if this is made out of like a tree branch or a tree trunk or a bone or something doesn't look like any bone i've seen it's almost got a bit of a fish shape to it like stumps for fins and then stumps for fins on the tail but uh, that's definitely not what this is. Uh, yeah, really cool werewolf figure. Uh, one of my favorite werewolf figures, I think. And uh, I'm going to be honest. If you are into the 5.5, uh, like the Mochi Origins, or those Masters of WWE, or anything that's in that scale, um, this guy would work great. I think he looks perfect. Uh, for that type of thing he's got this weird man weave on his back a back braid i don't know what the heck this thing's deal is uh, it doesn't rotate or anything but literally it's not even connected to his head it's on his back maybe he's supposed to have that in the show or the card i have no idea i've never seen like the card or him in the show so i don't know bro um but articulation on this guy is fairly basic. He's got rotation in the head. Kind of wish that was a ball joint so we could look around, but what are you going to do? His mouth opens and closes so you can go nom, 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 nom right on your face. Uh, he's got uh, rotation in the shoulder. Move up and down. Pretty simple. Uh, he does have, speaking of the uh, old Motu figures, the uh, spring-loaded waist so he can uh, slash you in the face. Or smack you in the head with his club. So that's pretty cool. And it works pretty well, too. A little bit better than the uh, old Motu figures. But again, those are, what, 30, 40 years old at this point. Uh, he does have uh, a little bit of movement in the leg there. And then his tail also rotates. And it is a separate piece, so you can pop it off and put it back on if you want. I don't know why you do that, but the option is there. And it is your choice to make that decision. And uh, a lot of the times this is missing, so when you're buying him loose, make sure he has this. Um, I got lucky and found mine carded, so I didn't have to worry about that, but not all of you are going to have my luck, so buyer beware. Uh, he does have uh, some clothes, though. He's not completely naked. He's got this uh, medieval diaper or a loincloth going on. And then he's got some knee pads and shin guards some straps on his uh legs there kind of think it would be cool if he had some on his arms too but whatever uh, he's a he's a minimally armored werewolf that will rip your face off what more could you possibly ask for so uh, putting his club back in his hand um yeah and regardless if this guy's got a man weave or not you probably wouldn't mess with him if you caught him in a dark alley so uh, just saying so moving him over a bit Put his arm down uh, size competition 
What did I do with him? Oh, there he is. He is next to the Mythic Legion's Hagnon. <clears throat> Excuse me. And, uh, yeah, he's uh, not in scale, but with a little paint. I guess he could be a grunt. I mean, he doesn't have to be the same height. That, and he is kind of hunched forward. His legs are bent all the way. His height kind of varies. Because he's got the, the dog leg thing going on. But, uh, yeah. So, not the only Dual Masters figure we are going to look at for uh, 13 days either. We're going to be taking a look at another one in the next video. But, uh, yeah, these figures are kind of pricey. Uh, there's one I'd like to get called Mudman. But he's like 30, 50 bucks. I mean, I may be dead, but I'm not stupid. <laughs> so, with that being said, if you guys enjoyed day two of the 13 days of Halloween. Stay tuned. I got another Dual Masters figure, as promised on the way next and lots of cool stuff afterwards so until next time you guys enjoyed this video and i'll catch you guys later If you decide to join us.